we've got these boiled potatoes. So raw mango. Just gonna cut it in dices. Just roughly chop them. So people like me who hate cutting and all, can we use a food processor? Definitely you can. Definitely. This is a... I mean, machines, I always believe, uh, uh, are there to help you. You should use as much as possible. But I'm just a little old-fashioned. Uh, I like the good old knife, the cuts. I enjoy cutting. I'm good with compromising. <laughs> this is too much work. Oh, I need to show you speed then. Oh. Maybe I'm faster than the processor. And more accurate. Off. <laughs> All right. I will take a little bit of garlic. Can you give me some ginger? Now, mango and ginger is a great flavor. I'm gonna add some oil. So, some dry red chili. I'll take about two, just crack them a little. Add the dry red chili. Some mustard. Jeera. Methi dana. That's methi dana, right? Or I'm yes. cool. <laughs> we'll have some hing. A good quantity of hing. It smells very good. A little bit of water. Some ginger, good quantity of ginger actually. The smashed garlic in. All right, so I'm gonna add the raw mango. And quickly add the masalas. Masalas will be turmeric to begin with. Red chili powder. Coriander powder. Just a touch of water. Now, I'm tossing in the potatoes. At the same time, I'll add salt. Some black salt. All right, uh, some curry patta. Now the next step, I'm going to add some mango juice. In it goes. So how much juice have you added? Half of it. Yeah, so it all depends upon how sour your raw mangoes are. Okay. Really, so that is the uh, benchmark. So just to make it sweeter, we're adding this. Yeah. So this is going to take about another two minutes. All right, so the ambra salu is ready. Time to plate it. Got a nice... Oh. It's good. Mm. How do I explain this? I have no words to actually describe it. It's sweet, sour, it has this pungent flavor at the back. Mm -hmm. Wow. 